I want to experiment. So my little experimental pores and artworks are finished. So with the ice cream, I decided to use a medium I haven't used before. Uh, I've had it laying around for a while. I actually bought it to use for a different artwork that I just haven't got around to doing. But I decided to try and do the ice cream more textured. I need more practice with it, that's for sure. The other two I did with Posca pens. And I just drew straight on top and I sort of swirled it around a little bit. They didn't really turn out how I wanted them to. I don't really like any of them in particular, but that's okay. Sometimes it doesn't turn out the way you want it to. Now it's time to take what I've learned and apply it to the larger painting. So this is how the big pour turned out. I quite like it. So with all the pores, I don't know what happened specifically, but a lot of the colors ended up combining a lot more as it dried. It didn't keep that nice swirly effect. Um, I'm not sure if I didn't use enough medium or too much medium, used too much or too little paint. I'm not too sure. Last time I poured it wasn't on canvas. Maybe that was it. So given that I didn't really like the outcomes of the smaller experimental paintings, I decided I'll do the artwork digitally on top. Since I like the pour, how it turned out as it is, I'm too scared I'm gonna ruin it by painting directly on top. So that's what I've decided to do.
So when I first started this digital drawing, I wanted to approach it more as a digital painting, sort of like the Tread Rancor portrait I did a little bit ago. Um, however, I decided that it didn't really fit with the background and what I really wanted in this final artwork. So that's when I decided that I was going to do more traditional line work. I experimented with a new pen. This one is textured. Normally I just use a smooth pen. Getting the hair to look nice and flowy as it did in the reference picture was a challenge for me, but in the end I think it came out quite nice. So I'm just blocking in the colour. I decided that I was going to keep the colour just solid. I wasn't going to use any blending. Uh, and I think it helps reflect how the background sort of swirls together by having the colours just sort of sit next to each other rather than blend in together. So this was quite fun to do. Um, I actually really enjoyed it and I really like the outcome as well. So for the eyes and for the lips, I just decided to take some parts of the background and overlay them to get some of that texture back in. While colouring, I made my choices just by colour picking straight from the original artwork. And then for the hair and the shirt, I decided that I would like it to be see-through to see the texture behind of the painting. Here's the finished product. I really liked how it turned out. I think it looks really good and uh, I don't think I would have been able to do this traditionally anyway. So I'm glad I decided to go down the digital route instead. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will make this available as a print on my website if you are interested, links down below. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.